Hi, let's do a little children's church. Would you pray with me first? Hello, Lord. I have learned some Bible verses, but it would take me a long time to find them in the Bible. I'm glad I'm learning how your books in the Bible are arranged. It will help me to follow along if the pastor asks me to look up a verse while he is preaching. And I feel like I'm getting to know you better if I know the Bible better. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now, these couple of weeks, we are going to emphasize that the importance of the New Testament and the Old Testament. The New Testament and the Old Testament. So, I thought we could do two songs from the New Testament. And I know they're from the New Testament because of the verses. Like in Luke 6, 14 to 16, the, the, the depi disciples, sorry, they were Simon Peter, his brother Andrew, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon and Judas. And we know a song about that. There were twelve disciples, Jesus called to help him, Simon Peter, Andrew, James his brother John, Philip, Thomas, Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon, Judas, and Bartholomew. He has called us to, he has called us to, we are his disciples, he has called us to, he has called us to, he has called us to, we are his disciples, he has called us to. Now our second song is in the New Testament also, Ephesians 6, 14. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with feet with the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith, which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. Now you know what that song is. Here is the armor God gave us. There's a helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, shield of faith, and the sword of the spirit, shoes of peace. Good. Now, speaking of the books of the Bible, and we started learning the books of the New Testament, what order they were just in case we had to find them quickly. Now, we found out that Paul wrote 13 books in the Bible. Now, we didn't want to learn all 13 at once, so I suggested let's just start with the ones that start with T. Remember, there they are, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, Titus, and we added on Philemon. Let's sing them once. First and Second Thessalonians, First T Timothy, Second Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. So start memorizing those because we're going to need them in the future. Now, to whom shall we zoom to check out their Bible verses? And remember, they're allowed to use their paper with the pictures on it, the one that doesn't have words. So to whom shall we zoom? You'll find out. Today, we are Zooming to Xavier. Hi, Xavier. Hi. Now, Xavier is going to say some verses for us that we've been working on. How many verses? Two. Two. Good. All right. We're ready. All right. And let us consider how we may spur one another on to love and good deeds, but don't give up meeting together like some people have are in the habit of doing but encourage one another even more as you see the day that Christ returns very good that's one of our longest ones you know everybody you're allowed to use your picture page to remind you good job all right now we're ready for the second one all right my son 
Wait. Yeah, my son. Start over again. All right. Um, my son, listen to, to your father's instructions and do not forsake your mother's laws and wear a garment, garment on your head. And, uh, and, uh, and a chain around your, around your neck. Very good, very good. Now, is that a dog that we can see in the picture if you put him up there? Uh, we can take him out, yeah. All right. What's his name? Well, we have two. Oh, this what's one, a... This one's feeds you. Hold him a little bit higher. He's heavy. Oh, he is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Jeremy, oh, Jeremy. and that's Pichu? Yeah. Okay. All right. Can we say goodbye for now? Bye. Bye. Thank you. It's time for the missions report. Now we're leaving Rwanda, Africa, and we're going to Israel with Carolyn and Joel. I have a little map of Israel on the side there, many countries surrounding it, and Israel is that small, whitish, it's pretty small. Now, most of the people that live in Israel are Jewish. They know the Old Testament very, very well. They study it in school, they study it at the temple, they know it really well. Now, there are in Israel some people that know the New Testament very well, like Jerusalem Baptist Church. Carolyn and Joel do help a lot at Jerusalem Baptist Church. But another job that Carolyn and Joel have is to let people know, the Jewish people or other people that come to them at tables that they set up, and let them know that the New Testament is worth reading. Now one of the things they do is they make sure they have New Testaments in Hebrew that they can give away, and other CDs, um, DVDs, small books, the Jesus video would definitely be one of them. Now when do they set that up? Just like any other country, city in the world, is Israel has concerts outside. They have Jewish holidays where many people celebrate and many people come and sit up a table. They sell t-shirts, they sell foods. That is where Joel and Carolyn set up also. They have all kinds of celebrations. So lots of young people come. So that's when Joel and Carolyn set up their news. Now, next time, let's find out some more about them. But for right now, it is time to do our benediction. I thought it would be good to do a Hebrew blessing as our benediction. As you can see, the first word is Baruch. Can you say that? Baruch. One more time. Baruch. The second word is very easy. Ata. Say it. Ata. Let's say both the first word and the second word. Baruch. Ata again, Baruch, Ata. The last word is Adonai. Adonai, say it. Adonai. Let's try it all the way from the beginning. Baruch, Ata, Adonai. Again, Baruch, Ata, Adonai. Again, Baruch, Ata. Adonai. Last time, Baruch Ata Adonai. God can abundantly bless us. See you next time.